So I just got these little desulfators in the mail. I uh, bought them off eBay. They're the uh, little MD12 model uh, focus, damn you. One of the new focuses of. They are the MD12, and uh, it's it's been on for about two or three minutes now, and it's it's not warm or anything. There's a slight spark on the battery terminals whenever I did hook it up, so it is doing something. I'm about to hook it to the oscilloscope to see if it's actually doing anything. Okay, so the scope is on, and uh, I'm about to hook it up. Let's see. The probe is on 10x. Let's see if we get anything. Uh, we're on. Oh, we're still on DC, aren't we? Uh, coupling, coupling. No. Vertical menu. What? That's not the vertical menu. Oh! There we go. Huh. Forgot how to use my own scope. Oh well, it's still pretty new to me. All right, try this again. Let's see where we go. Oh, it's doing something. Yeah, I see a lot of positive and negative spikes in there. Not sure what it's. Uh, I think it said in the data sheet it pulsed once every millisecond. This camera is not wanting to focus. So it's doing something. Huh. Um, let's try. I think the pulses might be too fast for my scope. Because it's not wanting to trigger. Let me get uh... Hmm. All right. I've got an idea. Just press auto set. Ah, there we go. That's something. Is that set on 10 nanoseconds? At 5 volts per division? That must be... Yeah, that's it. Uh, these things put out such a sharp pulse that my scope's having enough trouble picking it up. Let me turn the record length to something a little bit higher, like say 5,000. Maybe it'll trigger a little bit better. Yeah, we're getting definitely getting something here. Oh yeah, look at that. The negative 16 volts and positive 19 volts, almost 20 volts uh, a peak voltage pulse going into that battery and uh, let's measure the frequency. If I can. Okay, looks like there's one there and there. I can just barely see. I'm just going to move my cursors over. And 
it's uh, about a hundred and thirty seven Hertz interesting don't know how well it'll work but uh, I guess we'll see in about I don't know a few months from now because uh, this battery right now it only holds about two and a half amp hours and it's rated at 40 amps I mean it's charging up to the full voltage but it's I can only get about 26 watts out of it before it just goes flat and my other two batteries that are similar to this actually other three batteries I can usually pull around anywhere from two to three hundred watts out of those before they go bad or they run down which is about fifty percent of their original capacity it's about fifteen amp hours worth uh, for a forty amp hour battery which is still pretty terrible but I'm going to try the worst one first to see how well this works and see if uh, my next load test a few weeks from now if this battery's any better Decided to go ahead and put one of these, uh, the second desulfator I've got inside this uh, battery tote that I have. It has a uh, built in inverter. So I usually just keep this one in my truck, anyways, since uh, I can just hook it up to the cigarette lighter and it keeps it charged. And uh, that's where the fourth battery is at. See, it's almost a full charge, but it's been sitting in my truck for a while. I can just plug in the cigarette lighter over here. And then uh, I pulled it out the little plastic the cigarette lighter plug and it dis disintegrating, so I'll have to get a new one of those. Oh well. Alright, got the second desulfator in there. And uh, it always sucks when you're trying to tighten down or loosen battery terminals. And your wrench just keeps switching directions on you no matter what you do. And this one's missing a screw. So, lesson learned don't buy cheap sockets. Don't buy cheap ratchets. Piece of shit. Anyhow, uh, all I gotta do now is fix my cord that hooks this up to my truck, and I'll be done with this one and put it back together, put all these million goddamn screws back in here. And, uh, yeah, we'll let this one run for the same amount of time as this one. And this battery is uh, the sister battery, the sister pair that came along with this one. In the original set because they came in pairs for 24 volts and then that one and that one were sister batteries as well as their own set so that battery is in the worst condition this one's the next one up and uh, originally this battery didn't was the only one that worked ended up getting those three other three working by uh, putting a little distilled water and just a small amount of battery acid and then doing the reverse charge trick to get them going again and then uh, this one will run, uh, I don't know, a 500 watt load for about 15 minutes or so. Uh, I think it holds anywhere from 100 to 200 watts, but uh, I'd have to go over and remeasure the uh, capacity by hooking a known load up to it and see how long it runs until it runs down. Uh, I'm just going to let this run and run and run with this desulfator on it, see if it actually does anything. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed. It's been about a week and a half, two weeks or so. And uh, I've been charging that battery on and off, so we're going to see if this battery holds more than just 26 watts now, which is the rough equivalent to a little over 2 amp hours. So we're going to give that a shot. Well, first got to hook it up to my inverter. And this is actually how I measured. I uh, put a known load on here and measure how long it runs before the battery goes dead. So yeah, we'll see if that works before it only run for about ooh, five to ten minutes on a 200 watt load. Roughly 200 watt, which calculated to be around 26 amp, uh, 26 watt hours. And uh, I think it was 10 minutes. I don't know. I have to yeah, I'd have to recalculate that. Anyhow, we're going to see how long this battery will run my computer again since I know it takes right around 200 watts. Okay, current time is around, let's see. Focus, 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 focus. 7.20. And uh, we'll see how long this thing runs my computer will do. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Uh, once it gets going, pulls for right around 200 watts. This is probably the best inverter I've ever had, even though it only it'll only uh, power up to a thousand watts. It's about 10 minutes into the run, and uh, this is a dramatic improvement over what I had before, considering the fact that by now it would have uh, shut off. Uh, I just did a rough calculation. It's gone up by nearly 700 milliamps more capacity than what I had before after about a week of running. So to get this battery back up to its full capacity of 40 amp hours, it'd take me say we get roughly an amp every two weeks so it would take me 80 weeks to get up to its original capacity so it's about a year of running with this desulfator to get it up to its original capacity and uh, the fact that it's working at all is what amazes me um, this thing's still running and it's been a little over 10 minutes now actually so it might be even more capacity than what I've predicted. So uh, I'll continue to let it run until it's completely drained. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Almost exactly 15 minutes. Yeah, 7.35. We started at uh, 7.20. And uh, this is about run down. It still hasn't shut off yet. Uh, I'll begin shutting down the computer whenever that light starts blinking and whenever the inverter starts beeping. That's the cue. Okay. Time is 7.36, just changed to 7.36, and we'll use that for the calculation. So, let me adjust my camera here. I really need three hands for this. Let's see. So that is uh, 200 watts divided by 60 minutes, 200 watt hours divided by 60 to give me 3.33 watts per minute times 15 minutes is equivalent to 50 watt hours. That's twice as much as what I had before which was around 26. It's divided by that by 12 and that means this battery has nearly doubled in capacity in the two weeks that uh, I've been running this desulfator on it. So, every two weeks I get two amp hours. So that's about 40 weeks. So 40 divided by two. No, two is 20. 20 cycles or 22 weeks times no times two weeks obviously it would be 40 so 40 weeks which is a little under a year of running and I will have a uh, battery that is fully restored or about fully restored well I hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something about desulfators and how long they actually take to work and uh, thanks for watching